India's ambitious sun mission is just a day away from now. After the momentous success of Chandrayaan-3 mission, the Indian Space Research Organization is gearing up for its next one. The next destination for India's space agency is the sun. ISRO has completed the launch rehearsal of the PSL VXL successfully and now the launch is due this Saturday at 11.50 Indian Standard Time. Now here's what India's next ambitious mission is all about. Aditya L1 is slated to be India's first mission to study the sun. The spacecraft shall be placed in a halo orbit around the Lagrange point, one in the solar system. Now this point in space is about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. A satellite placed in the halo orbit around the L1 point is important to study the sun. The spacecraft will be able to study the sun without any eclipses from this point. Now, this will provide a greater advantage of observing solar activities and its effects on space weather in real time. The spacecraft carries seven payloads to observe the layers of the sun. The observations will be conducted using electromagnetic particle and magnetic field detectors. The mission has very important significance, which is understanding how the sun and its sphere of influence works. Studying the sun from Earth is a challenge in itself and Aditya L1 addresses just that. The natural atmosphere of the Earth as well as its magnetic field act as a protective shield. The shield blocks a number of harmful radiations from the sun including particles and fields. Now this prevents any comprehensive observation of the sun properties from Earth. However, such studies can be carried out by making observations from outside the Earth's atmosphere, that is, from the space. Now, Aditya L1 also has another ambitious scientific objective. It aims to understand how the solar wind particles and magnetic field from the Sun travel through the interplanetary space. For this, measurements will be performed from a point far away from the influence of Earth's magnetic field at Lagrange point. Now here's how Aditya L1 is going to study the sun from space. The spacecraft will study the dynamics of the upper solar's atmosphere. It will study partially ionized plasma. It will observe the particle dynamics from the sun and also the heating mechanism of the moon. It will record the temperature, velocity and density of coronal loops. The magnetic sensors will observe field measurements around the sun. Aditya L1 will also identify sequences of solar processes. These processes include those which can lead to eruptions such as solar flares. Now for more on this, we on our senior correspondent Siddhant MP earlier spoke to A. Raja Rajan, who is the director of India's space port, Satish Dhawan Space Centre. Listen in. We are joined by Raja Rajan sir, he is the director of India's spaceport Satish Dhawan Space Centre. Sir, 40 days ago we started Chandrayaan, mission accomplished. Next is Aditya, tell us about the preparations for India's first solar mission. Yeah, uh, the, uh, the preparations at uh, uh, Satish Dhawan Space Centre is going on very well for Aditya L1. The PSLV C57 uh, is going on in all aspects and the vehicle is being getting assembled and uh, Aditya's final checks, everything is going on very well, there is no issue. And if everything goes through in the first week of September, definitely we will have a launch for Aditya L1 C57. So two years there was a Covid break and now we are back with a bang. This is going to be the busiest couple of years in the history of India's spaceport? Yes, no doubt. And we, we have learned a lot from Covid and how to go about with the pandemic situation, how to do it in a very optimized and a, in a professional and a efficient manner. And that's what we are seeing. And as I was telling you long back also, that we are able to do various types of launches, months out of months. That's all because of the preparation that we have to do. Yes, there was a pandemic. We, it, is, it is for us to do how to tackle that and do it, because many people are going to come to the spaceport in an island, in a remote place. But notwithstanding that, how do we do and how do we motivate the people to do it in a very efficient manner? And that's what the results are we are seeing. And I think we will go to have a lot of uh, programs as uh, our Honorable Prime Minister has already uh, that we, it, it gives a motivation for us to go ahead with the Aditya, Gaganyan and many more in, in the scientific ways to do it. I think we will get a very good. We have to so this ongoing financial year, please give us a ballpark, how many launches can we expect? Ballpark. 
Around three to four launches, definitely we can expect. That's what I think because Gaganyaan experiments are going to be carried out, and as well as we have PSLE launch, and past probably everything was well, and we will have on GSLE launch. Also. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was Rajarajan sir telling us that uh, multiple launches lay ahead for India in the coming months. With video journalist Chandrasekhar from Bengaluru, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.